Hey guys, this week's connection is with Doug. We met at Morningside Park and talked about marriage, communication, and counseling, which are three things that I really love. If you like these videos, would you please really comment and share and subscribe to them on YouTube so that you don't miss the new content every Tuesday and so that you don't miss your connection. This is Street Connect, a project that I started to bring more purpose and connection into New York City life. And I do that by having conversations with strangers. So did you ever set out to be in uh, any form of TV communications field or was it purely the sort of life coaching, c connecting with people? And if, if so, who sort of inspired you in that? Who do you look to for, for inspiration? I was just like, okay, this seems yeah. to be like the way to like market myself, essentially. And you know, this, this question about like inspiration is yeah. something that I wrestle with a lot. I have people that I'm connected to, people that like, I admire and look up to that I know, but um, usually I find that I find inspiration or ideas like kind of like within myself. Like you have to be self-directed in, in this kind of stuff to, to make things happen. Like I've, I've always found that, frankly, that like, you know, and yeah, there's a lot of people that you respect. There are always people who've been doing it longer, um, but you do find like, you know, when, when it comes from within, that's what really motivates you to go right. further. Have right? you ever broken someone's heart? In as much as you can when you're young, when you're teenagers and dating, yes. But I've been married to my wife, it'll be 20 years this summer. Yes. And we, were, we were together five years before that. So Congratulations. Um, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. When you're younger, you have a different view of relationships than, than as you grow older. So, you know, in, in, in my younger days, certainly. And I had my heart broken, as, as we all do. And then you grow and move beyond that. Do you have any wisdom having 20 years in of not not being a heartbreaker 25 years <laughs> 25, <laughs> 25 years, years in. in you know nobody really knows what works for anybody else i think you know you have to find your own communication with your partner but you do have to communicate like i've seen a lot of couples where it doesn't work because when they get into tough times they um they shut down and that's not the way to do it when we got married we had a catholic wedding i'm not what you would call a great catholic but uh, you know catholic enough so to have a Catholic wedding, they require you to go through uh, what's called the pre-cana, which is premarital counseling. Right. And and so I recommend premarital counseling to everybody because mm -hmm. even though we had been together for five years and we had lived together and we knew each other and and all that, um, and I give some credit. You know, I've got my issues with the church, but I I give them a lot of credit because the, what they said to us at the beginning was, "We're not here to tell you how to be good Catholics. We're here. We accept the fact that you're having this uh, Catholic marriage, and we want to tell you how to be successful. Mm -hmm. And then they walked us through: these are conflicts that you're likely to have as a couple. How are you going to resolve them? These are situations that are going to go, going to come up. How are you going to address it? Like, do you have a a common sense of role expectations? Some people want very traditional roles in a marriage. Other people want very modern roles. And either way is fine if both people know that going right. in. But you have to know that going in. And and so that's my one thing is like for people thinking about getting married, the value of premarital counseling and the closeness that you'll have coming out of that will surprise you. You know, I'm going to have to agree with that. I've been married, um, it will be 13 years for me and my right. husband. Congratulations. One of the things that we learned in premarital counseling mm. was like the importance of the communication bridge. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh Building it's, it's and establishing everything. that. It is everything. And you're going to have conflicts in a marriage. Like everybody it's gonna, does. Like it's going to happen. Couples that never fight uh, will and never last. <laughs> and can you fight well? Yeah, you can know you know fight I mean? well? Can you do that respectfully? Can we disagree um, and do so in a way that we come out stronger right. versus like tearing each other down a, and slamming things around? It's hugely important. Around? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's what I tell everybody. Like, go get counseling. You'll be happier. Well, have you ever done counseling again? Like We have. Years? We have. I'm not going to get into details, but couples go through difficult times, as we did. And, you know, we went and got counseling. I'm a big fan of counseling. And it bothers me that I feel like in some ways there's still a stigma against counseling and therapy, which I think is hugely helpful for people. Right. There's just times in your life where you're going to face difficult things that you, you will benefit from being able to talk to somebody about mm -hmm. it, an objective person, a third party, whatever. So yes, we have, and you know, and again, 20 years, so. Exactly. 